Hi guys, I'm gonna try and make this a quick vlog because I know that I'm running out of battery. Okay, so I hope I get your name right, um, your username I should say. Um, Tatansia uh, requested that I show um, my non-fiction books and my classics, so I thought I'd start with my classics today. And this is part one of my classics video because I have some special classics over there that I'll show you later. Okay, so here's my classics and I'll list them for you. Right, so we have um, Truman Capote's Breakfast at Tiffany's. Not actually a classic, also a modern classic, but I've got it anyway. Okay, Madame Bovary by Gustave Le Bear. Whoa, the falling over. Jane Austen, Northanger Abbey, my favourite Jane Austen. Yes, it is. I'm not a huge fan of Pride and Prejudice. <gasps> I just committed heresy, but it's true. Northanger Abbey, woo! Charlotte Bronte, The Professor. I haven't read this one, but I will. Charlotte Bronte's cool. George Eliot, Middlemarch, look at that. That is a tome. Ugh. Ugh. The Vampire and Camille, two classic vampire tales. That came free with something, I can't remember what. Charlotte Bronte again, Villette. Again, haven't read this one, but Charlotte Bronte is cool and I like having Bronte. Oh, they're falling over. Jane Austen, Persuasion. I do believe this is one of Titantia's favourite Jane Austens. Am I correct? I hope I am. Yay! Emma, this is extra cool because my friend, um, you got to buy blank classics and you could draw um, your own cover if you wanted to. Um, and so she, even though it's just, it's straightforward Emma by Jane Austen, she drew Emma and gargoyles for me, which is really, really cool. There's the gargoyle attacking Emma. Groovy. Whoa! Jane Austen, Sense and Sensibility. I love these covers. I love them. They're so pretty. Woo! Then we get into my two fun ones. We have set Pride and Prejudice and Zombies and Sense and Sensibility and Sea Monsters. Oh, what a laugh. Ugh. I just realised I'm missing my Jane Eyre, but my Jane Eyre is in um, a similar cover to this one here. And it's very pretty. And I love Jane Eyre. I really recommend that one. Excellent, excellent, excellent novel. Henry James, Portrait of a Lady. Probably one of the first classics aside from those ones over there that I read. I read this when I was 12. Go figure. Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. This is part one, I should say. This isn't all of it. Tenant of Wartfeld Hall by Anne Bronte. And this is falling apart. We're getting there. Cranford and Other Stories by Elizabeth Gaskell. Yay! Cranford's a lovely uh, TV series as well. I recommend watching that. Hunchback of Notch Dame by Victor Hugo. Oh dear me. Whoa, whoopsies. Jane Austen, Mansfield Park. I actually like this book. It's not a huge um, favourite of many people, but I, I like this one. Brides Head Revisited by e e Evelyn Waugh. I can never pronounce her name, I'm sorry. Woo, I'm, just, I'm hitting everything. Oscar Wilde, The Picture of Dorian Gray. It's trippy. My friend gave me this for my 17th birthday. Thank you, Dom. Thomas More's Utopia. And yes, I was inspired by this because of Ever After. The film Ever After with Drew Barrymore made me want to read this. It's pretty dense. This is a play, <laughs> but it's sitting here because it is a classic. George Bernard Shaw's Pygmalion, the basis for My Fair Lady. Graham Stoker's Dracula, the original and the best of vampire tales. Thomas Hardy's Tess of the D'Urbervilles, one of the most depressing books you will ever read. Poor Tess. And Oscar Wilde's short fiction. There's some great short stories in here. And I've made a huge mess. Um, one other book that is missing, notably absent from here because a friend is borrowing it, of course, is um, Emily Bronte's Wuthering Heights, which again is a classic, probably one of the best novels you will ever read about the worst group of people you will ever know. Really awful, awful people treating each other terribly, yet it's still a great read. So that says something for the talent of the Bronte sisters. 
So that's my classics part one. I'm going to clean this mess up, put them all back here, and I recommend you go out and you read yourself some classics. If Jackson Pierce says you should, then I can say so too. So that's part one of my classics for now, and I'll show you my others in a little while. And until then, happy reading!